Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the greatest generation. There are memes that suggest that Americans of the 1940s, they were the pinnacle. They were the peak of American society. And that today's Americans, well, they're just not up to the task. The thing is, there's a lot of truth to that meme, to that idea. There's a lot of truth to it. Of course, it's not in the way that it often gets portrayed if you want to be historically accurate. But we're going to talk about that concept today. Those great patriots of the 1940s. We're going to talk about the memes that are often shared. And then we're going to talk about the reality and where the truth lies. So, what are the memes? There's two versions. The first is something like, Today's generation could never handle storming the beaches of Normandy or fighting at Iwo Jima. This one is just ridiculous on its face. Yeah, the generation that was at war for 20 years, they couldn't handle that. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. Aside from that, saying it like that, well, they handled it. Like, they were just so tough, it didn't you know, cause a severe emotional and psychological impact on them. I would suggest that's downplaying it, and I would suggest that it's historically inaccurate, because it is. They didn't handle it because they were so tough. Some of them survived. Same what happened today. The other version of it is, can you imagine liberals storming the beaches in Normandy? <laughs> Again, this one's a little weird to me. I mean, could you imagine the people who elected FDR four times? A guy who had a vice president that was pretty much a socialist, like a real one, not the way people use the term today. Could you imagine them doing exactly what they did? I mean, that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't make sense. That generation, that group of people, they elected FDR four times. They, they were pretty liberal. So where's the truth lie? The truth lies in the name itself. Why is it the greatest generation? Is it because they went to war? No, we're the United States. Every generation goes to war. Yeah, think about that for a while. It's because the entire country saw something sweeping the globe. They wanted to stop it, and they pulled together to do so. They put up with a lot of inconveniences to accomplish this. Can you imagine Americans today being told that they were going to ration gas, coffee, meat, dairy, firewood, nylon? There'd probably be protests out in the street. There'd probably be protests out in the street. Can you imagine them being told that they needed to be ready to turn off their lights at night to protect from air raids? You would probably have protests that were anti-blackout protests. Because they're not up to it. They aren't up to it. This is a generation that had posters up telling them not to jackrabbit start, which is you're at a red light, it turns green. You know how you get up to the speed limit as quickly as possible. Well, you're not supposed to do that. Because if you do that, well, it burns more fuel, and then inadvertently that helps the opposition. They were willing to put up with that minor inconvenience so that bad thing didn't spread. I can't think of a more fitting analogy to wearing a mask. A lot of Americans aren't up to it. It's that simple. They, they pulled together. They saw something that needed to be stopped, and everybody put up with the minor inconveniences, pitched in, and did it. Yeah, there are a lot of Americans today who are not up to the task, and as is typically the case, it is those people who want to latch onto that imagery the most. Those people who want to claim to be the philosophical and spiritual heirs of the greatest generation. Those are the ones that wouldn't put up with the minor inconveniences. Those are the ones that wouldn't pitch in and do their part. Patriotism is not waving a flag. 
singing a song or standing up and put your hand over your heart. Patriotism is having a loyalty to a geographic area and having a desire to protect those within it. Putting that group of people above yourself. That's patriotism. You want to be a patriot? You want to emulate the greatest generation? Wear a mask. Get your shots. Go get your vaccine. That's how you can be like them. I'd point out that there was a race to get vaccines for troops. And they were ready to go into arms in 1944. The greatest generation was the greatest, not because it fought World War II, but because the entire country came together to stop something that needed to be stopped. Everybody pitched in. Everybody did their part. If you want to uh, claim to be the heir of those Americans, you need to do your part now. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.